I'm joined here by Jacques Borel, who is a famous VAT campaigner, has fought many successful battles. Um, Jacques, tell me the central argument for a VAT cut for the hospitality trade in the UK. The main argument is that they need to have more clients. If they want to have more clients, they need to be cheaper. If they want to be cheaper, they have to use 50% of the decrease of taxes in order to decrease their prices. That is the first argument. The second is that you cannot do anything without staff. And the payment of staff is too low. They have to use approximately 15% of the reduction of tax in order to increase salaries. But it, you need nowhere in increasing salaries if you do not train people. So you need to spend 10% of the decrease of VAT in order to train people and know better on how to welcome clients, on how to take an order, on how to serve them, and concerning cooks, on how to have a better, uh, a better product that is being served. And finally, the environment in which the restaurants work is very important. And sometimes because their margins are too low, they do not refresh the painting, they do not have adequate lighting, they do not have adequate toilets, which is a main issue in the restaurant business. So this is all this that is being served by the priest of VAT. And essentially it's about job creation, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, you must create jobs. The rate of unemployment in Britain or in France or in Italy or in Germany is much too high. It's in the neighborhood of 8.5 to 9 percent. Uh, and the next elections are going to be decided upon with job creation. How long do you think it would take to get a VAT reduction in the UK? And how much money will it take? At the present time, it's going to take approximately three years going to take, in my opinion, two and a half years before we are in the pre-budget and then another six months uh, so that the decrease of VAT be enacted. It's going to cost approximately £3,000 a day, which is a million a year, which is £3 million in three years. And how do we go about successful lobbying for this campaign? We're going about successful lobbying by first convincing those who work for ministers. It's a waste of time to go to a minister if your case is not prepared. If a minister has 10 people around him, you must first convince the 10 before you convince the one. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. But you will never convince anybody with less than eight visits. This is what the Chinese are saying. First, because in the three or four first visits, they do not believe you. They do not trust you. You have to establish a climate of confidence. And it's only once the climate of confidence has been established after three or four visits that you are going to dig deep in order to convince them. So eight visits for six day uh, civil servants is 480 visits. Five or six or eight visits for uh, front venture or back venture uh, means another 500 visits. So it's a total of 980 visits to be made in one year time, which is 100 a month, which is five a day. And the work on this campaign is already underway, is it? Oh yes, oh yes. I'm working in, uh, in uh, the United Kingdom since 10 years, uh, but softly because the climate was not good. I worked very much with the treasurer, I worked very much with the chancellor for several years, I worked with the treasury, in order to have the vote in Brussels, because we could decrease VAT only if we had 27 votes on the same day. And it took eight and a half years, 30,000 hours, uh, 9,700 visits before I obtained that on the 8th of May uh, 2009 at 16 hours and 14 minutes. Uh, since then, I am working in this country two or three uh, full days per week in order to convince uh, the 10 to 1 aides to the uh, ministers in order to uh, uh, go along with this budget. And you have established a VAT club here? Yes, the VAT club uh, finances me because I need to find £3,000 a day. Uh, but let's say for a company making 100 uh, million uh, sales per year, 
A reduction of 15 points on VAT means 15 million pounds. So if those people are, are giving me 50,000 pounds a year in order to finance a club, this is 50,000 invested in order to gain 15 million. You know? It's a good bet. And in terms of this VAT reduction, we should include beer and alcoholic drinks in Absolutely. That. Absolutely, because it is much less dangerous to drink in a pub than to drink, to have binge drinking in a supermarket. Uh, so in other words, uh, the, uh, the pubs are absolutely essential. In some villages or some small towns, the pubs are the only place where there is life at night. Uh, they must be secure, they must be protected, uh, and we must do everything so that they do relatively good business in order to survive. And if you were speaking right now to the government, what would you say to them? You'll get more tax back, you'll create jobs. I'm going to create 340,000 jobs, and you're going to be re-elected only if you create those 340,000 jobs. Jacques Burrell, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.